All right, I'm going to give you three ways to get faster in the 100 fly. The first way is to flatten out your stroke and get speed in your recovery. So when your hands exit, flatten out here on the surface and get your hands back out in front. Speed in the recovery. The other way is to get speed in your hips. Keep your hips moving throughout the stroke. Keep them flowing, keep them flowing. And the third way is to work speed fly. Don't work slow fly, okay? Don't do 200s and 300s, 400s of butterfly. Do 25s and 50s at speed of fly, and that way you're always working at the pace that you wanna work at. And get your aerobic work doing freestyle, but get your speed done at fly. What I always do is I run a list. I have a list, okay? I have a pad and a pen. I uh, draw a line down the middle and I write on one side, what do I have? And then on the other side, what do I need? So the what do I have is what are your strengths? What are you really good at? What have you figured out? What are your weaknesses? What do you need to work on? These are the things that I ask myself. And then when I look down that list, I see the areas that I need to keep working on and the areas that I need to improve. And then I do the same thing for the 100 freestyle. What are the expectations of this race? What, is, what are the requirements of the race? What do I need in order to perform well in the 100 freestyle specifically, okay? I'm not talking about any other race, just this one race. How do I improve in this one race? What are the physical requirements of this race? I've got to have a great start. I've got to have a great reaction, entry, breakout, underwaters. These things are important, so these are on your list. Then I've got to get out with easy speed. What is easy speed? It's the speed you feel when you're going out as fast as you can, but you're holding back a little bit. There, there's something in reserve. It's, it feels comfortable, even though you're going very fast. Then there's the, the first 50 and the second 50 and the back end speed and the front end speed and the top end speed. I mean, there are so many factors in, in a great 100 freestyle. Write them all down, figure out what you need. That's the best way I can answer this question because it's gonna be never ending. This is an easy answer for me. Okay, my favorite set for a sprinter, for a 100 swimmer, for sure. 25 from a dive off the block at 100 pace. The first 25 of your 100, you wanna be out at that speed, okay? 25 from a block, then you go a 75 aerobic swim. So get your time, okay, 11.6. Immediately start your 75 aerobic swim. When you get to the wall at the other side, take 20 seconds rest and then do a 50 push back end speed. You wanna be at the second 50 pace of your 100. So then you add it up. First 25, the second 50. Then you rest a couple of minutes. That's one round. You do that six times, okay? Six rounds of that. 25 front end, 75 aerobic, 50 push back end, couple of minutes rest, six rounds the best set you could ever do. I use these speed charts, these Queensland Academy of Sport speed charts from back in the day. It breaks down every distance, right? It gives you a hand time here, and then it keeps going on all the distances, gives you a finish time, gives you a turn time. And then right here in specific uh, part of your question, the, the, the front end speed, right? The first 50, and then the second 15, there's your goal time. So if, you're, if your goal in the 100 butterfly is 50, uh, 51, five, right? You wanna be out in 24, three and back in 27, one. Gives you the turn time, gives you the finish time. These speed charts are the things that I use to determine my front end speeds, my back end speeds, and the, the types of training that I wanna do. But anything off the blocks for me would be front end speed. I'd probably come to this section of the of the chart and say, all right, I might do a 15, a 20, 25, 30, 35 kind of thing, you know, off the blocks. And then what are the specific paces I want to be for that goal time, right? It tells me right here. So you can break it up that way. So uh, these speed charts, I believe, can be found online. All right, anytime I'm looking for a solution, I try to figure out what the problem is. And the problem here is really in the question. It says building sprint endurance. How do you do that? So I'll break it up into three sections. I wanna build, I wanna sprint, 
and I want to have endurance. So those three things are going to be part of my solution, okay? So over the course of a season, I want to get better and build and be stronger at sprinting and finishing races and having endurance to close, okay? So I'm going to build that over a period of time and I'm going to build it into my weekly routine. So what I would say is start off with a volume of speed and then reduce that volume and then also do that volume at a certain intensity and then as you're coming down in volume increase the intensity so you have large volume lower intensity lower volume higher intensity and you build that in throughout the season now i would say as you go through the season as you get stronger as you get faster that endurance is going to build and that's how you solve that problem Here's an example of top speed training that I did just recently where basically you see here I've got a broken 50s, okay? Bro a set of broken 50s, five 10 meter sprints with 20 seconds rest, 